Hello people, this is Forest Splish Splash, welcome to my gaming channel. Today we're gonna talk about how to improve in any shooter game. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube regarding this and a lot of good stuff. Uh, I felt it was time to do my version and uh, I'm mainly gonna talk about three categories and that is aim, I'm gonna give some general tips and we also gonna talk about sensitivity. And that goes for PC, but also for, you know, uh, if you play on console, because I have done that a lot as well, even though this is on PC. Nice so, these tips and strategies that I will talk about are meant to be useful in any FPS game. But I'm using uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive as an example, since I strongly believe that this is uh, a very good game, and if you can manage and do well in Counter-Strike Global Fantasy, you will be able to do well in other games as well. In many games nowadays, you're able to play against bots, which I think is a good thing in order to prove your aim. Uh, it takes off the stress a bit, and uh, since you're not playing against real players, and also gives you time to explore different weapons and settings. I mentioned earlier that I think it's good to practice your aim in Counter-Strike Global Offensive since the weapons have a lot of character and also recoil. As you see here, I take some time just to, you know, try out some different weapons and see how they are, you know, performing. And this will definitely give you an advantage, I think, when you play other shooters as well. Since a lot of the modern shooters today, unfortunately, I would say, <laughs> don't have much recoil when firing the weapons. So therefore, this is a good choice. And uh, you can, there's a lot of maps and things to explore in this game. The community are great and are uploading and contributing all the time. This is just one of them. And you can also just stand, you know, shooting at a wall and see how the weapons perform. There are also settings for that that you can use if you want to, like, have dots that are colored to see even better how it performs. We're throwing ourselves into another game which is called Interstellar Marines. I'm also playing against bots here. I just want to show you how I try to move and use cover. I have been thinking uh, while watching other people playing, and that goes for me also, that a lot of the time you are a bit too stressed and you run a lot. I would say don't run. Try to play a game where you actually walk and you might see a difference. Because if you come around a corner, uh, you might get shot because you're, you're not having your weapon ready to, to fire. And... Um, Another tip uh, while you're watching this, uh, I'm also trying to use cover as an advantage, advantage and I'm trying to have at least cover from one side, maybe wall or something so I don't have to worry that I will be shot in the back or from the side. I also try to have the crosshair in the height of the head. Uh, that gives you an advantage when you're starting to, to shoot because you might drop the enemy faster by doing that. So I had to work with that actually before. So that's just the tip uh, that you're not pointing the gun down to the floor. By using the site mousesensitivity.com, you will be able to calculate and also transfer your settings when it comes to mouse sensitivity into almost every game you're playing. If you do that, you will also improve your chances, your aim and overall performance, since your muscle memory will learn how much it takes to get the crosshair from one target to another. So that's a really useful thing. Try it out. Other things worth mentioning is also what kind of field of view you're using. I usually have 90 or higher. And that is mostly a question of taste and what kind of, you know, monitor you have and etc. But try, feel free to, to check that out, what you, what you like. Again, I prefer to have it quite high. We can also talk about technical stuff such as what kind of monitor you're using if you're playing uh, these kinds of, kind of games. If it's 60 hertz or 120 hertz, I know that, you know, there's a lot of talk about how much it really matters. Uh, I do think it matters when it comes to these kind of games, because right now I don't have 120 hertz monitor, and I can see that I have some tearing actually now and then on my screen. So uh, that might be also an option if you have a pocket full of money, you might invest in that kind of monitor. 
Uh, internet connection is also an important thing. Uh, if you have a very good connection, cor congratulations. I actually have that now as well and it makes a difference of course. Uh, it also makes a difference if you use a cable or if you go, you know, wireless. I guess you know that already. And it also matters what kind of servers the games are providing. Uh, dedicated servers are of course always the best. And uh, today I think all game developers should be able to, you know, provide that in a game like this as a shooter. Also check out your graphic settings and consider to uh, lower them if you have problems. Because you don't want to experience uh, shitty stuff happening when you're playing uh, in a game like this. I mean, ultra settings is not a super important thing. Uh, the most important thing is that you can react well to what's happening in the game. So get to know your gear and follow what works best with the settings. We're slowly getting to an end to this video and I would like to thank you for watching. And uh, if you have thoughts or maybe even favorite things, tips uh, to share, please do that. Uh, it's nice for me to hear but also the people watching the video. Also, if you want to check out more content, uh, don't hesitate to go to my channel and maybe subscribe. I will always uh, answer questions and comments. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.